What's up you beautiful people? My name is Adrian Belchon. If you don't know, now you know. And please don't mind all the scruff right now. It is looking a little rough. I do not have a razor, but I need to go get one because it is not looking that good. All right, let's fast forward and let's talk about today's video. We are doing a full day of eating and I wanted to take you guys through what a day of eating looks like for myself and what I enjoy eating and what is in my macros for my lean bulk. So let's get on to the video, baby. Day in the life, let's see if you really trap. Turn off the auto tune, let's hear how you really rap. Ha ha, send a, send a location. Come burn up, boy, if you're bad, let's see. Your dad left home from young and you ain't done shit for your mum. Oh man, oh man. How are you relying on man like y'all? You're mad, you must have mad. You ain't never sat in a trap with a pack, hear the doorbell ring and your heartbeat lag. Can't keep track, been in the trap, it's hard, I can't keep up. Keep up. Selling them party drugs, I'm the one that got the party ton. Everyone say they tea. Good morning, beautiful people. Let's start off with meal number one. We have a side of turkey bacon, and then as far as my oats go, I add one and a half scoops of oats, one scoop of protein. We do three fourth cup of Greek yogurt, some banana, one whole banana, not some bananas, one whole banana, and then we top it off with some cinnamon. For meal number one, I believe it is 60 protein, 123 carb, and 20 fat. But let me check. 64 protein, 123 carb, and 23 fat. So I was close enough. And the reason being, I give myself a little bit of extra carbs in the morning because Typically, I should have 80 carbs before a workout, like 40 grams of protein, and like 10 to 15 grams of fat. But I sometimes lag, so like ideally, I try to get out of here within an hour and a half, but sometimes it takes a little bit longer, so I feed myself a little bit more in the morning due to me lagging because I'll be editing and so on and so on, and then I don't wanna feel super depleted um, during my workout so yeah I, I definitely eat this staple meal and then I'll switch it up either I'll do less protein inside my oats and do more turkey bacon on the side or no turkey bacon more protein inside my oats hopefully I said that correctly um, I've done some shakes in the morning before but um, I was craving this so this is meal number one, and let's get to it, baby. What's up, beautiful people? Made it back home from a lift sesh. You saw my morning breakfast that, mwah, so delicious. Unfortunately, I did eat one thing and they didn't show you, which was just literally just beef. Um, but for our next meals for the rest of the day is a pack of ground turkey, and this is, 93 lean, 7% fat, and then we'll have 1.8 cups of rice and one serving of some like cheese that I have. I don't know exactly which one, but we're about to cook that for the rest of the day because then I'll have work and then I'll just take you guys along with me. So let's get it, baby. So now that our pan is preheated, we just do a little bit of Himalayan salt not a little bit, I do a lot of it. It's a pound of freaking meat, so I season it pretty well. From there, voila. You hear the rice is finished from the rice cooker. So simply that's it. I literally season my turkey with salt. I let it get a nice crisp on one side and then I'll season the other side with salt, get a nice crisp, flip it over, chop it up, and then add my cheese in, fill out to melt. But that's it, super simple, super easy. And as far as veggies, I usually just do um, a handful of spinach every time I eat, or most of the time I eat. Um, so like right before a meal, I'll just eat a handful of spinach and that's it. That's how I get my micronutrients in. And um, that's how we do it, baby. 
simple, easy, clean. So I had eight ounces of beef. I'll have 16 ounces of turkey. And then I had my oats this morning, which was a cup and a half, uh, three fourth cup Oinko's yogurt, one scoop of protein, one tablespoon of peanut butter, one banana. And that's my daily meals for the day. I keep it easy just because like I'm always on the go and I don't have that much time to cook like a gourmet meal. Um, whenever I do have extra time, I'll put some TLC into my meals, but easy peasy lemon squeezy. So here is meal number three. We have some spinach and some fruit <laughs> and well as um, turkey, rice, kimchi. Um, I love kimchi. I love pickled cabbage. Sorry, that was a little messed up right there. Um, yeah, so basically this is what the rest of my meals look like for the rest of the day. Um, I just wanted to briefly show you what it will look like. I won't have fruit um, with the rest of my meals, but until nighttime, I'll have like a like a cup of fruit, if that. But meal number three, peace. Um, if you're someone that doesn't have like the most time or the most money to cook a good amount of food throughout your entire day, let me adjust this because this is a little, there we go. Then keeping, uh, keeping things simple is gonna be the easy way to go and like the most beneficial way. As long as you're hitting your macros, for me, it's 3,200 calories so far until I probably will increase next week at 33. But I eat 400 carb, 200 protein, and 88 fat, I believe. Um, so as long as you're hitting those macros that you need to be hitting, you're going to see the results. The results are consistency over time. So you just got to be patient with yourself, stick to the numbers and continue hitting those daily macros. And if you're someone that struggles with eating and can't eat enough, or like you're not able to, uh, put down enough meals, perhaps your activity level isn't high enough. And I'm not saying like to go kill yourself and have like two crazy workouts, but one normal workout. And then maybe you go for like a nightly walk or like you wake up in the morning and do a morning walk. Um, that will help increase your appetite. Just something to get you a little bit more active. Um, and then maybe you're eating too like spaced out, try to eat smaller portion meals. That way your um, metabolism is always working. So like maybe you're eating too big of a meal because you waited too long all day. So I've been a victim of this or like I've done this before in the past where like I won't eat all day and then I'll try to cram all my macros at nighttime. And it's just simply not gonna work. It's not ideal, right? Like it just doesn't make sense. Like you wanna spread out your meals and an orderly fashion manner. Um, that's why I'll wake up, I'll eat my first meal, um, and then I'll wait an hour and a half, almost two hours by the time I get to the gym. I'll work out, I'll get home, I'm already hungry as hell, and that's why I didn't film my uh, second meal because I was just super hungry. Um, and then throughout my day, I'll be hungry again because I'm eating easy digestive carbs, so like maybe, you are eating pasta and it's just not processing well. So maybe you try white rice or like just, just play it out. Just um, play around with what you like. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one, baby.